In the summer of 1964, more than a thousand volunteers descended in Mississippi in order to encourage and assist African Americans in that state to register to vote. State and local laws made registration by blacks nearly impossible, and it was hoped that Freedom Summer would help counter that. The Council of Federated Organizations, also known as COFO, an umbrella group that included the CORE, NAACP, SCLC, and SNCC, planned this part the projects. Training volunteers in the spring and early summer at the Western College for Women in Oxford, Ohio. These volunteers, mostly white northern college students, not only worked to help at get African Americans registered to vote, but also set up freedom schools in an attempt to combat the inequality in Mississippi school systems. They taught children reading and math, as well as African American history. Schwerner, Cheney, and Goodman. During June of Freedom Summer, members of the Ku Klux Klan murdered three civil rights workers, Michael Schwerner, James Cheney, and Andrew Goodman, near Philadelphia, Mississippi. The three had traveled to Philadelphia to investigate the burning of a nearby black church. On their way back, a deputy sheriff stopped them and ordered them to follow him to Philadelphia, where police held them until nighttime before releasing them. The three drove off, I'm sorry, the three drove out of town and were not seen again. Their burned out automobile turned up two days later. In August, an informant led the FBI to shallow graves containing the workers' bodies. Finding that state authorities had little interest in bringing charges, federal authorities tried several persons, including the deputy sheriff who had stopped the three, connected with the case for various civil rights violations. <coughs> Those found guilty received short prison sentences. The trial of one Klan member, Edgar Ray Killen, resulted in a hung jury. Killen remained free for nearly 40 years until Jerry Mitchell, a reporter with the Jackson Clarion Ledger, wrote a series of stories on the case and on Killen's involvement. 2005, authorities tried Killen for the murders, and on the 41st anniversary of the disappearance of Schwerner, Cheney, and Goodman, convicted him of manslaughter. He received 60 years in prison. Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party. Around the same time that the Freedom Summer Project worked to register African Americans in Mississippi to vote, many realized the state Democratic Party would not support the interest of blacks or send black delegates to the 1964 Democratic National Convention. The Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party emerged as an alternative political voice. Supported by the COFO, the MFDP selected a slate of candidates for Congress, including Fannie Lou Hamer, a SNCC member and an organizer of Freedom Summer. Mississippi election officials refused to recognize MFDP candidates, so the party held its own primary election and decided to send its own delegates to the convention. President Lyndon Johnson had concerns about the MFDP's presence at the convention. There, he had planned to showcase his work on civil rights legislation, but he also wanted to stop the erosion of support in the South for his election campaign. The Mississippi State Democratic Party had already decided not to back him in the upcoming election. MFDP delegates went to the convention in August, where the Democratic Party's Credentials Committee allowed them to argue for their inclusion. Hamer addressed the committee in televised hearings regarding the beatings of and death threats against her and others during Freedom Summer. Although Johnson attempted to preempt her speech with an emergency press conference, network news programs did cover her testimony. The Johnson campaign attempted to compromise with the MFDP by giving them two at-large delegate seats at the convention, but the MFDP refused. They never achieved delegate status. Many today believe that the MFDP's defeat at the convention nonetheless had the benefit of bringing national attention to Southern blacks' obstacles to political representation and helped secure passage of the Voting Rights Act of 1965.